What's up dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there. Today we are going to be doing a bit of an unboxing. I've got a big ass box that came from Botanicas that I am hella 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 excited to open. And I've got a package here from Charlie and Luna Company, a very generous gift. And I also have a package here from Two Girls One Plant Podcast. I wasn't expecting anything. Curious to know what's inside there. So today's going to be a little bit of an unboxing. But before we get into it, I would like to say thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. I just signed up for Skillshare and I have already completed a class on sculpting your own mushrooms, a polymer clay mixed media art sculpture class led by Stephanie Kilgast. And in the My Classes queue, I also have fundamentals of Photoshop, photo editing for bright and bold photography, and fun with fungi, composition, and color by Emma McIntosh. Being a YouTuber, using Photoshop, and Premiere Pro are some things that I struggle with. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever the creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. The first 1,000 to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Skillshare offers memberships with meaning, with so much more to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's get straight into it. First, I'm gonna open this package from Charlie and Luna Company and I love this girl. You guys can check her out on Instagram. She's got cool knits for cool kids. And her freaking hats are adorable. Her baby is freaking adorable. And I'm always seeing her stories and she has like these, she just has the cutest little knit hats and everything. And since I'm filming and it is, I think 14 degrees outside, this couldn't be more appropriate than it is right now she said that she was gonna send me something that that she had in mind for me and i was like girl you could send me anything and i would be super excited about it let's check it out that oh mm, guys it is so pretty it completely matches my outfit oh my god this is a cool sticker Harley and Lunaco. Very, very cute. Oh, this is another sticker. Oh, cute little skeleton hands. Like it's a little crystal ball, but it's a, a yarn. Really, really cute. It says Charlie and Lunaco on the bottom. Oh my God, the, the handmade craftsmanship, you guys. She's got her logo on here and it's actually sewn in to the knit cap. She's got this beautiful tag. So freaking gorgeous. I have these cute little bows in my hair today and I'm going to show you what I look like with this beautiful beanie on. I'm gonna feature that video right here. Editing Rachel here. I love the hat, it's spectacular, but the rest of this video has just turned to garbage because I don't have any audio left. So I was gonna do my favorite plants at the end of this unboxing and there's no audio. And you guys voted on the community tab to have Casey do the audio. So when that comes along later in the video, that's why I didn't explain that. Get y'all one of these fire ass hats with this cute ass fuzzball. Thank you so, so much to Alana at Charlie and Luna Company. I could not need this more than this week. Next up is a package that I got from the post office and it says two girls one plant. So let's pop her open and see what it is. Oh this is probably a product of me not checking my P.O. box enough. Feel really bad now. Now the guilt is starting to set in. Let's see. Oh this cute little 
mailbox. I freaking love it. And we've got a card that says thank you. Some amazing artwork on it. It says, Dear Rachel, we wanted to say a big thank you for all your support. We are also big listeners to your podcast and obviously your YouTube channel. And look forward every week to what shenanigans you and Casey get up to. We hope you and your family have a wonderful 2021. I drew a cactus for you. Why not? <laughs> Oh my God. I love you guys. That is so cute. And then she sent a little sticker. Love is love. So cute. Thank you, ladies. I really appreciate it. And then we got a little shirt in here. Oh, I love it. Green witch. Oh, this looks like a, this feels really soft. Did this come from like y'all's merch site or something? Two girls, one plant podcast. If you guys haven't um, checked them out, go and check out their channel. Thank you ladies, that was very sweet. So this is our big giant box that we got from Botanicas. And I was expecting a much smaller box. It's called Dragon House and they're making some really awesome terrariums. And everybody knows that it's really, really hard to build your own terrarium from scratch. And that's what a lot of us have to do. You've got to get your own tank, you gotta install your own lights, you gotta make sure everything, so they're, creating an all-in-one terrarium for begonia lovers because they know that I love begonias. So they thought they would send me one to try. I don't know why I see purple under here because I'm not sure if this is the bottom color of the terrarium or if my terrarium's purple. Um, I'm trying to hold in the excitement because I'm, I don't want to get excited if it's not purple, okay? But it, this looks really, really purple. So I just wanted him to kind of film me kind of opening it. Anya from Botanic Cats, she's been waiting for this unboxing video for a couple of weeks. So I don't think it's purple. I think this is just the top of the, the bottom portion. So, psych. Psych. <laughs> I just thought it was purple for a second and I got really freaked she's out. She's holding her mouth like, saying, no, it's not purple. Is it purple? Is it purple? Don't get their hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not super heavy, but it's heavy enough that I'm gonna need Casey's help to kind of pull it up out of the box and also assemble it. So we're gonna set the camera up and then Casey's gonna come over here and help me put it together. Mass consumption, mass dysfunction, going away half your lunches like you were salty no discussion an interruption don't even know what you're doing i'll take you shopping you think the world's got more to go around you're loving it as long as you look good buying something every week for the fun of it because you're a rock star
What's up, dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? It is I, Cletus, your plant madam's husband. And due to some technical difficulties and rearranging a few things, uh, we decided to have me do the voices voiceover for Rachel on her video. So I'm going to talk about what she's talking about. So this plant right here is a plant that's got a line down the middle and it is light green and then splotchy green on the other leaves and if you poke around on the tips of them like that you know uh, you might be able to tear it off that's what I usually do but uh, Rachel can do it and she gets by with it she even pulls on it and uh, it looks pretty good and now it's shiny and now it's up close to the camera. So that's really all I have to say about this. I'm sure Rachel had more enlightening things to say about this particular plant, but it's only got three leaves, so what can you say about it? It's in a white pot, and it was it was so exciting that uh, Winston's not even there to watch it anymore, and I'm going to show you this exact same thing that I showed you a while ago. And this time I'm just going to pull on the tip of the leaf a little bit more and make it kind of shine in the light a little bit, but this is basically a repeat. Okay. This next plant, uh, I actually know what this one is. If you noticed the previous plant, I did not tell you what it was by name because I did not know. But this one, I believe, is a philodendron gigas. And this is a plant that you probably don't want because it all it wants to do is wither and die. And it needs crazy uh, environmental conditions to survive. At least that's what I've gathered. Uh, Rachel may disagree. But it does have kind of cool soft kind of velvety really slick shiny leaves but uh, uh you got to keep it like in a tote or in a terrarium you got to keep it super high humidity or you could keep it in a plastic bowl that's where our cereal bowls have all went but uh it's got weird kind of gangly roots coming out of it and uh yeah it's dark green uh it's still dark green and it's still got gangly roots coming out of it, I think. Okay, now this is a begonia. So as you know, Rachel likes begonias and I guess this is one of her favorite begonias. I'm going to say this is the one that I bought her from Logies, but I could be wrong. Uh, she may have to correct all of my commentary in the, in the description or in a pinned comment post if there's enough room to correct all my inaccuracies. This is still a begonia. Uh, I don't know what kind of begonia it is, but you know that it's a begonia because of its asymmetrical shaped leaves. I've been saying that for almost two years now. Uh, figure it out. Uh, drop some knowledge on you people and learn what a begonia looks like because that's what they look like. And it's got dots all over it and it's also in a white pot slash styrofoam cup. I don't know what else to say about it. There's the root ball. Uh, it's not a ball. It's a cube. Uh, I guess I don't know why it's shaped like a square, but it's got a lot of roots and it's in water and it probably is in nothing else. So it, I'm guessing that we're growing that one in water by itself. So I'm guessing we're just growing it in water and we're so excited about this plant that we're not even going to put it in front of the camera right now. So this is my, this is Rachel's time to just kind of strut her stuff and show off. And there we go. She's still, there, there's the camera. Okay, this is a cactus. And we bought this cactus when it was little bitty baby. And you see where all the spikes are on the side, uh, the big spikes. That's about how tall it was when we got it. And it has grown a lot. It takes really well to Rachel's method of plant care, which is 90% neglect and then 10% uh, <laughs> of uh, rapid uh, uh, attention and uh, just kind of a, a, a crazy, frantic, got to save this plant. Uh, it's really responded well to that, as you can see. It does not know the difference. So some plants fit your style, some plants don't. And this particular cactus has fit her style real well. This is an alocasia, I believe. I think this is a variegated alocasia. And uh, we don't like alocasias. I don't know why this one's still around. Uh, but it, we just they, they tend to get spider mites all the time, and they're a real pain in the ass. Uh, this particular one's got a lot of variegation on it. For those of you that don't know what variegation is, that's the white spots on the leaves. Uh, you know, we try to be an informational channel here, so I like to pass on that information when possible. Uh, it's got three leaves on it and another one coming, and uh, it's in a nursery pot and it's probably going to be on a future purge. This plant is, I'm going to call it a purple passion plant because I don't know the name of it, but it is purple. Did I get it right? Yeah. Boy, sometimes you just get lucky. Uh, it's kind of weird and it's kind of purpley and it's kind of fuzzy 
and uh, I think this is the one that'll vine, and it's vined all over the bedroom at, from at you know over the last year, and it's probably if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's like 10 or 15 feet long now. Uh, is that the right one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is the right one, and we got this in this fancy schmancy. Uh, pot that's got white and gray on it it's really color colorful that looks like a splendid i know about that because i have a splendid in my aquaponics setup that's obviously way bigger than that and uh performing way better but that is an individual leaf cutting uh node cutting it looks like it's fully rooted and ready to go my guess is it's going to show up in a future purge coming up probably in march and that's the gangly looking roots and you can see the roots are clean. Sometimes when you buy these plants from other places, the roots come in. They look like they've been, uh, you know, dipped in the toilet uh, and then sent to you because they're all muddy looking and sludgy looking and uh, kind of nasty. Those roots look pretty good. Okay, i got to change subject here. This is really tough because I don't know when the next plant's going to be here. This right here is a, uh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's a plant and it's got silver a... Silver sword. Like I said, this is a silver sword. And uh, it looks kind of, it's really green. I don't know why they call it silver, but it's its a green plant that's called a silver sword. It's got lots of leaves. They're kind of skinny and uh, wonky looking. Uh, still in the nursery pot. That, again, fits our style over here because uh, it takes a lot of work to repot them dang things. Those are our top five plants for uh, the winter of 2021. That's all we got. It's been a pleasure doing the voiceover for this video and uh, thank you guys for putting up with all of my garbage. Catch you guys later. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you interact with this video in more than one way, it helps us in the algorithm. Don't forget to look up our memberships in the description down below as well as merch. Peace out. Later taters. Bye. And now I would like to give a big thank you to all of my dirty plant enthusiasts. Nadine Ski, A Bear's Garden, Abby Gilbert, Ace Cadet, Alexandra Chilton, Alexis Solly, Always Propagating, Alyssa Braden, Amber V, Amy Adwan, Amy Powell, Anna Dreesen, Ashley Caraveo, A Warm Wind, Barbara Lindbergh, Bethany Estes, Bryn, Carly Knight, Carly Grinnell, Casey Dillon, Calf of Plants, Chamomile Camille, Channel Failed to Load, Charlotta R, Chris Felice, Chrissy Spencer, Colleen Hatton, Courtney Martin, Crazy Plant Lady, Cuties with Cardi, Daniel Holt, Darren Heppel, Daryl Lee, David Sawyer, Diana Anderson, Eliza Haney, Ellen Louise Pasco, Emma Castle, Evie, Felicia Yeager, Fenner Lamb, Fiona, Glass Cactus 15, Gokala Martins, Gretchen Ward, Haley Hetrick, Haley Martin, Haley Kester, Heather Summers, Heidi Christofferson, Hells Bells, Holy Coley, House Planty Goodness, Hunter Jolly, Isabella H., Amy Ellis, Jake Rowe, Jay Rowe, Jedi KCC, Jenna Maria, Jennifer Banner, Jessica Viola, Joe Howard, John Alexander, Joseph L. Simmons V, Juan CC, Caitlin Carr, A. Rowe Cactus, Cassandra Hines, Kathy W., Kaylee Logan, Keith Betchel, Kelly Hodgson, Kim Toby, Kimberly Mossman, Not Dude, Crimson and Clover, Christy Bim, Kaya Hauser, Kylan Cooper, Lauren Loves Leaves, Lysa Garden, Light Owl, Lillianne Morin, Lily Shouston, Lynn Therese, Lisa Nolan, Lori Davison Hughes, Lulu's Leaves, Mary Marr, Megan Moyna, Meeks, Megan Lilly, Meb H, MF Webb, Mia Sewell, Michaela Rags, Michelle A, Michelle Reed, Michelle Waters, Monica Allison, Morgan Cluck, Mortessa, Morwina, My Clean Leaves, Nicholas Constant, Nicole Rohrer, Nikki Toller, Pam's Pretty Plants, Peanuts Plants, Rachel Sharp, Raylene Hillhouse, Ricky Mulbeck, Reese's Roots, Safia Bahadir, Samatha Teparity, Sarah, Seth Miller, Shell 91, Showers ASMR, Sophia Rogers, Sophie Bodding, Steph Miller, Steph W, Stephanie Bazella, Stephanie Menzies, Stephanie Pietro, Tanya Houtsaker, Taylor Kaysen, T, Tiffany Wright, Tugbatoss, Vertigree Dreams, Bernie Zhu, Vedmet Sophie, Victoria Fonseca, and Wesley Lamentino. And now for a big, dirty, nasty shout out to all of my big monthly supporters, my dirty, dirty, dirty ass plant hoes. Danny Ryan, Seven Puggy, Cindy C, Alana Treese, Allie Wells, Allison Havens, Amber Mae Fleming, Amber Metter, Amber Beth, 
Amy Baxter, Amy Hatch, Andrew Wolf, Andrea Hewitt, Anna D, April Robinson, Arlisa B, Ashley Williams, Aubrey Puff, Botanicaz LLC, C. Woe, Chelsea Clifton, Cheyenne Burnett, Christy Stewart, Colin F, Danny Spray, Ann Santos, Darylin, Denise Tomer, Diana Warner, Donna Ratcliffe, Elizabeth Co, Emily Cephalu, Emily Forhey, Emma LaCroix, Emma Wiley, Florence Ramirez, Gab, Gina the Great, Gingerly Life, Haley Eblen, Haley Stanley, Heather Lamb, Heather Worrell, Honey Bird, Houseplant Heather, Houseplants and Hip Hop, Jasmine Renee, Jen Dureha, Jennifer Rouse, Jenny Vanderbilt, Jessica F, Jessica Stanford, Jill C, Justin Hartley, Caitlin Guavi, Karen Longstreth, Chris Ung, Carla Diaz, Catherine Sproles, Katie, Katrin, Kelly Rice, Kelly Costello, Kristen Williams, Kristen Wallace, Christy D, Lindsay Daniel, Liz B, Maggie Quarter, Mary Boots, Mark Straw, Megan Earls, Melissa Hartog, Mel's Planty Plants, Michelle G, Miss Engel Green, Natural State Ashley, Nicholas Caruso, Nicole McCaw, Nikki Grilly, Odd Avocado Tree, Oops, I Soiled My Planties, Paul Zhang, Peter, Plant Princess, Plantastica, Simonetta, QR, Reagan Cornelius, Rhiannon C, Rhiannon Chukka Sang, Rico 9383, Riley Elizabeth, Wren, Root and Leaf, Sammy Joe Ruby, Sarah J, Sarah Jones, Spotted Oreo 10, Stacey Anderson, Tammy Carroll, Tara Peterson, Terrace Plants, Tropics in the Midwest, The Fiber Circus, The Hatter's Madness, The Plant Channel, The Plants Meow, The Turtle, Tracy Buzzle, Tyler Frakes, Victoria Feltenberger, Whitney Sales, Wicked Witch, Roxy, Will H, and Winter Rose. Thank you so, so much, you guys, for your continued support. We've got some plant sales coming up, so keep your eyes peeled. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. Bye.